Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to touch on this very difficult topic, how to invest well, especially when markets look to be heading down. You know, there's two key methods. The first one is actually in dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is a concept that really works almost for everybody. And the only flaw is it's not the most effective method ever there is. But if your goal is to deliver some returns, you know, don't have too much nightmares about the stock market. Get invested properly, have some returns, decent returns, then dollar cost averaging already works. The second method regards to trading, someone who is more interested in trading, someone who is actually more savvy with regards to financial markets. So a previous video actually that I'll show you over here that I strongly discourage anyone from doing shorting of the market. If you're keen, look for that video. But in any case, if you are looking to explore this method, it helps you get profitability regardless of market directions, up or down. Because shorting makes money for you when markets head downwards. Again, if this topic interests you, continue watching on. Now let's run through dollar cost averaging. This is a hypothetical example. Just in case you're looking to invest quarterly, let's put it $1,000 per quarter and you start from March of 2020. What will happen? As you buy every quarter, you realize that prices may go down. Imagine this, we are already in a bear market and markets go down and down and down. What you realize over there is you, you realize that per quarter, you're getting more units for your $1,000. This is the real effect of dollar cost averaging. And eventually when it bottoms out, hypothetically in September 2021, what happens is that at that quarter, you actually bought most units, 333 units for your $1,000. That's pretty good. Now, assuming that you survived it and what happens next, markets recover. Markets actually rise back up because markets will not go to zero if you are broadly diversified. What happens is you see that your $1,000 will start to buy less and less units as the market climbs up. Having said that, imagine this, if you recover with it fully, after three years, the prices recover back to $6 and your total uh, units bought in that last quarter is actually only 182 units because the prices are higher than before, you're buying less units per year on $1,000. That's the real effect of it. And in this summary, you'll quickly see the real net benefit in terms of dollars and cents. Over here, you'll see your total investment, $12,000. Over here, you'll see your total units, 2,853. Average cost of $4.21. Now, that is a very good average cost. Because it's really difficult to get invested at a market bottom of $3. It's so difficult to do so. And dollar cost averaging actually gets you a very respectable average cost. What happens is your total gains are 5,119. Your total percentage gains is 43%. Very respectable for a three-year time frame. I think most investment principles will be satisfied with such a performance. Having said that, there are some people who also dislike dollar cost averaging. I'll touch on two of them so that you quickly understand the pros and cons. Some people say dollar cost averaging is averaging blindly. You should know the value of the thing you are buying and you only buy it when it reaches your value. Again, you have to ask yourself whether you are a very savvy investor, whether you have done your own valuation such that you know a value of it. If you're buying an index, then really there's, there's very little value to go and justify what is the value of it. You, you are actually quite good just doing dollar cost averaging with little hassle. The second idea or second common objection to it is markets trend upwards is much better to invest lump sum. Now, this is a very uh, important part that I'd like to demystify. Imagine this, you're going to climb Mount Everest. Do you actually go up gradually to base camp or you actually straight away hike all the way up to the top of the mountain? Because you need time to acclimatize. It's the same concept. When it comes to market downturns, you don't know how ready you are. Dollar cost averaging buys you time. You are acclimatizing, you are putting your toes into the water, you're not jumping in without fully being you know, a savvy, without fully being totally well versed in it. It's the same as climbing a mountain, you do not hike it up straight away, you have to go to base camp and first. So that really dispels that and that really shows you why the value of dollar cost averaging uh, can deliver for you. So again, if you're looking for, for advice on it, I'll leave links below how to reach me on it. I'll share with you more topics on dollar cost averaging, the pros and cons on a personal basis. I'll move on to the second point, which is actually on shorting the market. Now, if you are fired about shorting market, this portion is for you. You can actually open a short position through C CFD. You can also open a position through borrowing scripts through SUX. You can also buy an inverse ETF. There are various methods to do so. But today's discussion is just to scratch the surface of it, just to help you quickly understand. And beyond it, you should explore fully whether it suits your investment style. These are two positions that I opened myself personally. These two positions, I've removed the name of it just to make sure it's not a buy or sell recommendation to you. And in this first position, you see that it's firstly sold off at $8.51 and subsequently rebought back at $8.07. Hence, when you sell higher and then rebuy back lower, there is a profit to it. The second example, 
uh, selling at $1.48, subsequent rebuying at $1.38, selling at a higher point, buying at a lower point. This is a positive trade. Having said that, shorting always has the risk that you know the position goes wrong and can be for an infinite amount. So always be really familiar whether it suits your investment objective before you embark on such a journey. This is just to open up the discussion how uh, anyone can actually uh, invest well or even trade well in the market downturn. Now, okay, if you have further questions, leave them in the comment sections below to hear from you also. And if you haven't subscribed, smash on the subscribe button because we'll be launching videos every week and join our community more financially savvy. With that, I'll sign off. I'll see you in a future video. Take care and goodbye.